We are the second largest school district in the state of Alabama. Geographically, we're probably the largest. We have approximately 4,500 students that come from families that speak a language other than English, but active ELs over 2,800. In 2013, 2014, one of our schools, Rudd Middle School, was identified as a school for school improvement because their EL subgroup was underperforming. So the state of Alabama Department of Education basically said, hey, you, you've got an issue and it has to be addressed. We first had to do a root cause analysis. Let's find out why are these ELs underperforming? And so the school leadership team came back and they really said, we're gonna be honest. It's because we don't know what to do with these kids. We've never had any training. When we talked to the team, that was the decision with that leadership team. This is, let's get you the skills. If that's what you say you don't have, let us provide you the training to give you the skills. And that was the birth of PSYOP at Red. One thing I always tell the teachers too is about PSYOP is it looks like a lot. Then you think that's a lot to plan. Then when you teach, it's so much easier because the kids do all the work then and you do like all the preparation. But when you're in the classroom, you sort of just get to sit back and watch the kids learn. When we started to get training on it, it was kind of like, oh, that makes total sense. And that that really is helpful. And it's not just helpful for our ESL students. We have a lot of students who are our low level students and it helps them and it helps our high level students. It just helps the, get their thinking out. I, the way I think of it is one, reading, writing, listening, speaking. Yeah. Um, but it's having strategies mm -hmm. that encourage all of that and put the ownership on the students. So they're the ones doing it. Yes, obviously we have to do preparation and things like that, but when the kids are the one reading, writing, listening, speaking in the classroom, like they're the ones learning. You know, whoever's mm -hmm. talking is the one learning. I think that's PSYOP. Like encouraging discourse <laughs> through this for the students. It creates a comfortable culture, like a comfortable classroom culture. The kids are not afraid in the class. They're not afraid to talk. They're not afraid to learn. They're not afraid to be wrong, to try. Yeah. To try. Um, they're just very comfortable in the classroom. Because everything we need to reach every child is embedded in the PSYOP framework. And that, I think, is one of the reasons it's been successful. Because once our teachers are trained, and they use it and they see the results, then they're sold. They're like, okay, this is something that I can do. I know this works. Since we have implemented PSYOP training and provided this for our teachers, we are seeing that um, our ESL students, they are performing at higher rates. We see our um, EL graduation rate have increased. More of our ESL students are becoming what we call in Alabama, college and career ready. I got to see students who went from speaking absolutely no English at all to getting up and having full conversations in English by the end of the year. All of our departments here we're working on what's best for each kids. And as long as we keep doing that, then as long as we're doing what's right, we're, we're gonna get the results that we need. And because it's not fairy dust, it's just best practices. Those practices that work with all students. 